okie dokie. Oh. So you happy with here yesterday? Yeah. Whoa, oh, look. look at this pose. Look, Olympic gold medalist Justin Cripps in the corner. Hey Justin, how you doing mate? Here we have. Oh, secret, secret lines here. first day you get here is that you're trying to pick up where you left off the last time you were here. For me it was uh, four years ago and obviously with a new coach as well so we need to both get on the same page as well so there's a lot of uh, talking between us two looking through old footage and our track notes and trying to match them up and we both talk a slightly different language and in, in different things so they mean different stuff. The further down and the softer you hit the more chance you've got of just getting that nice parallel transition across yeah. to an early four. We come to the track and then we, we try to apply that on here by looking at the lines that are already in the track. So the damage on the track from the sleds that have already been down shows you uh, where the good lines are, the bad lines are. If you look down here, you can see the right side of the track is just, the, the wall is just marked to heck and the left side of the track there's nothing. So you can look back and go, well this corner obviously wants to push you hard that way and it does. <laughs> Well, this is the first track out of the three, me and uh, Graham have actually agreed with most of our track notes on, so that, that's quite good. It's quite warm here in Lake Placid at the moment, and so the ice, uh, they've had to turn the refrigeration system up quite a lot, it's quite humid and the track is very bumpy and uh, it's quite slow at the moment. How many curves does this track have? 20. And which is the most difficult one? Lake Placid is quite a tough track there's quite a few that are that are tricky combinations so the devil's highway at the top of the track so that five six seven eight nine combination is quite hard especially to get a four man down there and then this section corner 12 is quite a quite a tough corner and then later on corner 18 a lot of people have troubles with that if you have a tap before that then yeah that's a panic station so you're gonna try and work hard to save that when you got into 19 were you were you blocking or was, was the transition pretty much pushing you through straight anyway? Um, well, I wasn't that early on, so I was like middle into 19. So yeah, I had to give it a bit. Yeah, but okay. I'd rather that than go early on. Yeah, because sure. that, that pushes you away onto a nice line, but you also kind of jump into it as well. Yeah. So at what time you would be happy here? Um, whatever puts me number one, I'll be happy with. I looked at the times from the last World Cup and it was a high 54 seconds. And yesterday we were low 58, so. We're three seconds off. About a second of that is probably start time, so track's about a couple of seconds slower at the minute, I think. So hopefully that will start to speed up. Well, I'm hoping we're going to carry on as we have been doing and uh, world-class starts, world-class finishes. <laughs> it's possible. Everything is possible. Nobody's unbeatable. Oh, it's very beautiful here as well. Kind of very upstate New York. 